So you are out there playing a little Tinder, a little Match.com to find that perfect home to fall in love with. Swipe left, swipe left, ooh, swipe right. Well, have you ever stopped to wonder what other ways there might be to determine the perfect house for you? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about 10 ways that you'll know when you've fallen in love with that perfect house. We're gonna get after it right after this, so stay tuned. What's going on everybody? I'm Robert Hayes and along with my wife Christy, we are the Hayes Home Group right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about working, living, playing, sleeping, eating here in Grand Junction, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, that way you're notified every time we post a new video. Now if you're even thinking about moving here to Grand Junction, we are helping so many people from all over the country reach out and we absolutely love it. So make sure that you reach out. Give us a phone call, text message, email, smoke signal, whatever you need to do, we've got your back when moving to Grand Junction. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So like I said, you're out there playing Match.com, a little Tinder, you're doing the swiping and you finally swipe right, you're falling in love with something and you've got that pre-approval letter. So you're at that point where we've set you up on a custom home search and maybe you're looking at one of those third-party websites as well, which is totally fine. And at that point, you kind of want to know, how do I know if this is the right home? Well, before we get into the 10 things on how you could possibly know this is the perfect home for you, a couple of bullet points I want to make sure that I point out. Always listen to your gut. Go with your instinct. Your intuition is usually right. So if you're looking at some of those homes and the photos are just popping out at you and you definitely want to go see it in person, stick with that intuition. The second bullet point that I wanted to mention, and it's on the heels of the, you know, if it feels right, it probably is right. You may not want to sleep on it because you've heard of the phrase, shuffle your feet, lose your seat. If it feels right to you, odds are it's going to feel right to somebody else. So you may want to just pounce on that particular offer and make sure that you wrap that up before somebody else does. All right, let's go into the 10 ways that you may know that this is the perfect home for you. Number one, you really want to go inside. You've been playing that swipe left game and you're on our custom home search website, which again is going to be a little more accurate and up to date than some of those third party sites. But regardless, so you really want to go inside. The thing that we really recommend that you do when you're looking at those photos is rate them from one to five. So five being best, which is really hard to get, and I'll tell you why, and number one, which is ew, you know, you don't want to even check it out. So at least a four is what you're looking for. Uh, what I mean by that is a four can definitely ramp up to a five, and that's going to be based on the paint scheme that you yourself are going to be doing, the furniture layout. When you make it your own, that's when you can push a four to a five. These photos that you're seeing online really make you want to go inside. The second way that you might know that you found the right house is the house just embraces you as soon as you walk in the door. Have you ever had that feeling when you walk into a property and within three seconds, it just has that warm and fuzzy feeling. It's got the mojo. It's like the house has two giant arms and it's just giving you a big hug. That's another way that you can know that the house might be the one for you. So the third way, kind of a funny one that you might know that you're in the right home and it's perfect for you or maybe not perfect for you is if the bathrooms just completely wig you out. I know it sounds weird, but again, if you go into the bathroom and you just get an uneasy feeling, it's just kind of weirded out, you're going to be in there a lot. You're going to be taking a shower. You're going to be using the facilities. You're going to be doing your makeup, so on and so forth. And as a real estate professional, we've seen this happen. Our clients have gone into some of the bathrooms and the homes that they're viewing, and they just are, again, it's just a, a wigged out feeling. doesn't feel comfortable. doesn't feel right for whatever reason. That's a telltale sign that this particular home might not be the one for you. Now on the flip side of that, you're going through the bathrooms and you're putting your hands on the counter, the granite countertops, and you're opening the drawers and you can see how you might be able to organize it the way that you like it. And you can envision that nice soaker tub just doing a relaxing bath after a hard day. That's a good sign. So this might actually be the home that's perfect for you. So the fourth way that you might know that this particular home is absolutely perfect for you is you actually kind of become possessive or almost obsessed. 
when you do that initial, you know, three or five second uh, entryway walkthrough and you just know this is the one for you. Almost kind of like, a, you know, a relationship maybe that you've been in in the past or know someone that's been in a relationship where, you know, you don't want anybody else to, to have this person. You want them for yourself. Um, as agents, you actually want us to, you know, maybe hide the lockbox so nobody else can see it, uh, which of course we can't do. That's very unethical, but that's the feeling that you have. So if you've got that possessive feeling, you are just obsessed and you don't want anyone to get their hands on this house, then this actually might be the house for you. So the fifth way that you might know that this is the perfect home for you is you're really starting to envision right away where your furniture arrangement is going to go, where you're, you know, you have a bed now and you can see how it's gonna just, you know, nestle right against this perfect wall in the bedroom and it's gonna look super awesome. Or you already are, you're looking at different walls as far as paint schemes and how that's gonna look just incredibly awesome with how you wanna decorate and with the paint and you envision all of that. You're looking at, you know, how the holidays are going to go. This particular space is gonna be perfect for the family come Thanksgiving and Christmas time. That's another way that you can tell that this might be the perfect home for you, envisioning all the things that you own fitting perfectly with inside of this particular house. So the sixth way that you might know kind of is on the heels of number five. And let's talk about the paint scheme. As soon as you walk in, you envision your friends and family seeing that, you know, maybe your favorite color is lavender. And you can see that initial entryway uh, wall being lavender or whatever color is your favorite color. And it's just going to be a perfect scenario for as soon as they walk in the door and greet your guests or friends or family. And, you know, maybe the kids room, you can see a perfect shade of, you know, light blue that is going to look Look perfect in the kids room and that's the scheme they have now and you want to add that to the new home and everything just flows really nice as far as what you're envisioning the paint scheme being in your favorite colors it's another way you can tell that this might be the perfect home for you so that takes us into number seven what's the seventh way that you might know that this house is absolutely perfect for you well, how about the house just fits your basic needs? So you've gone back to your dream list, your wish list that you've made up initially, and this house has the exact perfect number of bedrooms. It has the two and a half baths that you were looking for, and it might not have you know everything as far as the other dynamics that you were looking for, but this house has got it all. It meets your needs. It's again, has the right amount of bedrooms, baths, the backyard space is perfect. There's a great patio area that you were looking for. So based on your initial criteria, criteria, it fits the bill. So that's another way that you can tell that this is the perfect home for you. So the eighth way that you would know that this is the perfect home for you or your family or significant other is do you want to stop looking? This is it. There is no more touring to be done. You don't want to do any more showings. This is the home. You're in love. Let's put it in an offer. Now, that's a great feeling to have, but I want to caution you as a professional real estate agent that keeps something, a plan B, in the back of your mind. You don't want to be so obsessed that that emotion, if for whatever reason, because again, if you're obsessed, there's probably others that are obsessed as well. So if there's a slight chance that somebody else outbids you and you don't want to get into a bidding war, so have a plan B just in case this one falls through so you're still not completely emotionally drained on that backup home and you're still really excited about moving in. The ninth way that you'll know that this is the perfect home for you is about 10 minutes touring the home. You're snapping photos and you're Instagramming your friends and family. You're putting the pictures of the beautiful backyard and the gorgeous kitchen on Facebook. I found my home. This is the one. You're on Snapchat. Snap, snap. You're just taking all kinds of photos and you can't wait to share all those photos with your friends and family, which again, probably a good indicator that this is the home for you. So if you're snapping photos, you're doing social media posts, make sure that before you do all that, let's get an offer in so we don't lose out on somebody else that might have the same feeling. Okay, the 10th way that you'll know that this is the perfect home for you is every ounce, every fiber, every feeling of your being, every emotion is telling you that this is the one. You wanna put an offer on this property. It's more of an emotion, it's a feeling. Again, every fiber, every ounce of your being is telling you, we need to move forward on this one. We don't want to lose out. So that's the 10th way that you'll know based on emotions, based on feelings, even maybe a little gut in there is telling you this is the one. That way you'll know this is the home for you. 
So there you go. Those are 10 ways that you'll know that the home that you're looking at is the perfect home for you. It might not be all 10, it could be three or four, but even one of those is a great indicator that perhaps this is the perfect home for you or your family um, or anybody else that you're bringing with you. So again, if you're new to this channel and you wanna know everything about working, living, playing here in Grand Junction, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, that way you're notified every time we post a new video. And if you're even thinking about about moving here to Grand Junction. Again, we're helping so many people all over the country move here, and we absolutely love it. So reach out, give us a phone call, text message, email, smoke signal, whatever you need to do, because we've got your back when moving to Grand Junction. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.